Jeff, the host of the Gridiron. All right, how about this, huh? Are we going to go straight off the couch again? <laughs> nah, I don't think so. Even Justin Pugh said that. Said, said the same thing. I mean, because obviously we're looking for, you know, we're looking for, might, might be looking for a few good men here, but we'll have to, you know, it doesn't seem like uh, Justin Pugh. Says, ex-Giants offensive line Justin Pugh reveals if he'd unretire to replace Andrew Thomas. Now, the thing is, uh, let's see here. Oh, wait, 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 of course, last year, this time around, it was Pew who was called upon to come straight off the couch and into the fray. The veteran blocker even played some left tackle for Big Blue in 2023. Now, he, now he talked about this is left tackle. It doesn't mean if he'd unretire and participate on the offensive line. But uh, let's see, which sparked a question from a fan on whether or not Pew would come out of retirement to help replace Thomas. Once again, unfortunately, the 34-year-old declined the fans' request, replying that he's not playing left tackle again with a with a laughing emoji. So he, he, you know, he was being sarcastic about it, right? Uh, Justin Pugh, he, 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 it looks like James Spatafore, I guess, asked him a question. I guess, I guess it was on, I guess, X, maybe, maybe. But uh, he said, not playing left tackle again. But after that, he put the crying emoji, laughing, crying emoji on there. So I guess he realized even he was overmatched last year. But that was left tackle. It doesn't make me, you know. We don't need, I mean, we got guys on the interior, right? We still got extra guys on the interior, you know. So we don't really have anybody who's banged up knock on wood, you know. He so said, for the time being, it looks like, It'll be on recent draft picks of Zudu and Neal to fill the void on the offensive line. So, but I mean, you know, the Giants, I think, when I heard it was on, I think it was Big Blue Kickoff Live, I think, I think the Giants at the end, because Thomas made it all the way through the game. He made it all the way through. You know, he, he toughed it out and everything like that. He had all this Frank injury that needed surgery. Uh, also, um, uh, Sean O'Hara on Big Blue Kickoff, I was talking. He said there's a couple ways, of, uh, uh, you know, about going about it. Some of it just needs a little, some rest. You rest it, and, and, and it can repair itself that way. But if it's past, obviously, if it's past the resting stage, you need to repair it. <laughs> and that comes with surgery. So apparently, um, that was funny because... I think Sean O'Hara had a Liz Frank injury. I don't know if it was, so forgive my stupidity. I can't remember if it was with the Giants, maybe it was with the Browns or whatever, but I think he said he, he had the same doctor that Andrew Thomas went to. The guy in North Carolina, Anderson, Dr. Anderson, North Carolina, South Carolina, Charlotte, Charlotte. So he had the same doctor. So this guy's been doing this for a while. I think he put three screws in O'Hara's foot. Right. But he said there's a couple of ways to go. And so, I mean, he went down there to, to get, you know, um, you know, obviously a second opinion and all and everything like that. And the doctor, you know, so there's a couple of ways could have gone, but apparently he needed surgery. So. Right. It is what it is. So, you know, obviously he'll, he'll be out for this season. But the interesting thing is it's kind of like now. Now, what do you do? You know, do you, how badly do you want to upset the apple cart? Right. Because you know, the Giants, I think. 
after Thomas finished the sixth game of the season, I think after the sixth game, I think the Giants were the only offensive line in the NFL that had all the same five guys play every snap throughout the so far. And of course, that is no mas, right? So since Thomas is gone, but after the first six games, the Giants won a little bit of a roll there. So, which is <laughs> which is shocking, right? But the thing is now, how badly do you want to upset the apple cart? So you're going to keep, you're going to keep obviously Runyon, uh, 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 Schmitz, right, and then Roten, right? Keep those, keep obviously keep those guys. But you know, all right. So we got, we got uh, Runyon, we got um, Schmitz, we got Van Roten. We're going to take uh, E. Luminor and plop him over here, and then put Neil, right, at the right tackle. Or you're going to keep a Luminor where he's at and then put a Zudu over there. Um, that's going to be a, that's going to be the interesting thing. We're not exactly sure. It doesn't seem like Dable's exactly sure exactly how he's going to do it. Because he, 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 at his press conference, he was he was possibly talking about either could happen. You know, sliding the Luminor over, putting Neil in. Or keeping a Luminor there. That way you keep your four guys who have been there all season long because continuity is huge, right? Just keep the four guys because last year Illuminor did play some left tackle for the Raiders. But, you know, if you want to keep the four guys in the same spot and put a zoo out there. But let's not forget. Now, let's, I'm going to show you something there. Hopefully coaching can work some magic here because Zudu was the one that got um, uh, Daniel Jones hurt the first time last year. I mean, if you see, I mean, it was just like, it's just, sometimes it's just, you just like scratching your head. It's like, what are these guys doing? It's like, I don't know, it was just unbelievable. It's like when, 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 when Daniel got the snap from center, Ginkle blew by Zudu so badly. Zudu like backed up and he almost like dove head first and barely touched like Van Ginkle. I mean, he was beat so badly. It was it was unbelievable how bad he got burnt. I mean, holy cow! I mean, I mean, that always looked like me out there. I mean, trying to. I mean, he backed up a couple times, and he's like, "Oh my god, this guy's almost." Had, and he almost like had to dive head first just to touch the guy. Oh my god! Just trash. I mean, I don't know what what the, what the guys they're teaching these guys, but. If, we, if I can show you here, you know, let's see, share screen. Where are we at here? No, 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 no. Gotta find the guys here. Okay, we'll start with Illuminor first. All right. And we'll share the screen. Now, there he is. Dude's got a big head, don't he? <laughs> but if you look here, right? Pull it over here. Okay, there we go. And I, if you look here, right, 2024 with the Giants and 2023 with the Raiders, right? Last year, oh, his overall grade. Now, you know, we're early in the season, right? He's learning with a new bunch of guys. He's learning a new system, blah, 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 blah right? He's at a 63 right now, Luminor. Now, once again, this is all by PFF. This, I, I'm not saying I, I sat there and watched every snap he took. I watched the 800 different names. Absolutely not. I, I don't do that. Not going to do that. Don't have the time to do that. Don't have the mind to do that. You know what I mean? So I, that's why I go with PFF, right? So he's at a 63. He was a 68.7 last year. But you'll notice, I mean, his pass blocking has actually gotten better. His pass block, his, his run blocking has gone down a little bit. His run blocking last year was a 71.5. His, 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 his Took a little bit of a dip, so to speak, 58.1. But that doesn't mean it can't go up. But if you look here, right, you know, you know, he had a 68.7, a 67.3. You know, he, you know he, first couple of games here, you know, he didn't do too well, right? But if you also notice here, I mean, you know, against Seattle, he graded out a 76, a 62 this past weekend. But his past block, an 84 or 76, you know, so I mean, but – you know, as I said, his, his so far his run so far after six games, his run blocking has taken a little bit of a dive. But as I said, you also notice here that his going up almost eight points was his pass blocking grade. 
So this one block and took a little bit of a dip, but his pass blocking is going up. And once again, I said, we're still early in the season. But, you know, the, the, but what, what I'm pointing this out for, too, is that, you know, the last season was um, with Carmen Brasilia, right? The, the coach, right, with the Raiders. Now he's with the coach with the Giants. So, I mean, he, you know, he, 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 he's, he's done a pretty decent job with him, okay? So that's Illuminor. Now let me uh, let me see if I can pop up Van Roten here. Where are we at here? Van Roten. I know he's here somewhere. Here we go. Okay. Now yeah, here. All right. It's kind of the same thing with him. Van Roten, right? Now he has he he, he has gone you know. It's it's a little weird. His run blocking grade has stayed the same. It's a little bit opposite of Illuminor. Illuminor's run blocking, as of right now, is taking a dive, right? But his pass blocking grade has gone down quite a bit, all right? But you'll still notice 63.7. I mean, you know, it was better than he was when he was at Buffalo. He's better than here, better than here, better than here, better than, you know what I mean? So, you know, with, with the same coach he had from last year. Now, once again, we're still only six games into the season. Anything's possible, right? But, I mean, last year graded out a 75 overall. This year he's down to a 63, right? But still, that's not too bad. You can function. Your offensive line can function. But, I mean, you also look here. The past couple of weeks, you know, does this, does this mean, I mean, obviously, the Cincinnati and the Seattle front, Offensive line, you know, and maybe uh, defensive line is maybe not the greatest, right? Because against Dallas, he had a 56. Cleveland, he had a 62, which still isn't too bad, right? But this past couple of weeks, his run blocking, you know, against Seattle was a 91. His pass blocking wasn't very good. He gave up a, he gave up three pressures. So, and so far, he's given up 15 pressures altogether so far. So, which is obviously, he's given up 12 hurries and three hits. Right. But I mean, I said, you'll notice, you know, his, his run blocking is a 68, it's a 63.7, once again, which is functional. But you look also the past couple of weeks, he's gotten better. Now, it, once again, it's, it's early. Right. And certainly, you know, as the season goes on, you know, it becomes, gets more and more comfortable with the guys he's with. Maybe those grades go up a little bit. Maybe they stay the same, maybe they go down. But, you know, as I said, you, you see, he did very well last year. Right with the Raiders, and he's doing well this year. So, possibly coaching. Now, let's take a look, and let's take a look at what Azudu and Neil have graded out at. Oh my God! I mean, it's just like this is unbelievable. I mean, just you know, uh, coaching's got a lot to do with it, and just I have no idea how Bobby Johnson's got a job with the the Commanders. No idea. Absolutely, I. I, I no idea. That's who we got here first. Okay, let's do let's do a Zudo here. All right. I mean, this is whew, this is this has got to get better. I mean, my goodness. All right, this is from last year. Okay, you'll actually he had three snaps so far this year, just three. So, All right. So he graded out a sixty-one point two this three this this year. But I mean, last year in twenty twenty, he graded out a forty-two point four. <laughs> And his rookie season, he graded out of 46. His pass block in last year was a 39.3. I mean, look, look at these rates. I mean, actually, somehow in the first game against Dallas, he had 14. He had enough for just 14 snaps, though. Right? Um, against Arizona, he graded. But then that was like downhill. I mean, against San Francisco, tw a 27. His pass block rate was an 11. Then against Miami and Buffalo, it, it, Miami is pass blocking was a twenty-five against Buffalo, twenty-four point eight. I mean, against Miami, his overall grade was a twenty-seven point nine. Against San Francisco, rated at a twenty-seven. It's like wow, his run blocking grade against Miami was a forty-four. I mean, just oh my goodness. I mean, let's see here. What we got here, twenty twenty-two. All right, so yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, I mean, against Tennessee, he was in there for twenty nine snaps against Tennessee. 
11 pass blocking snaps. He graded out at a zero. His first game ever with Bobby Johnson as the coach, he graded out at a zero. Uh, week two against Carolina, he graded out at a 22 overall, a 30 run blocking grade. You know, then he had a couple, you know, I mean, here, you know, that, that too bad against Jacksonville. 60 snaps, not too bad, right? Seattle, 65 snaps, you know, I graded out of 50, which is borderline not good, but against Houston, 69 snaps, graded out of 63, and Detroit, 56 snaps. But uh, that was his rookie season now, right? But, I mean, against uh, Baltimore, pass block was a 20. Well, we only had two, two snaps, looks like. Four snaps altogether, two run, two pass, 27.7. I mean, phew, wow. He had 153 pass blocking snaps, and he gave up 15 pressures. So basically one out of every 10 for Azudu in his rookie season. One out of every 10 snaps, he gave up a pressure. Wow. That's horrible. <laughs> That's horrible. So now let's look at Evan Neal. Same thing here. You know, I mean, I, coaching really has a lot to do with it. A lot of it, you know, how much does the guy, you know, you know, Really, it's in a lot of it's inside, you know. You know what I mean, a lot of it, uh, technique and all of that stuff and everything. You know, you can, you, you can, you know, a lot of guys, you know, whatever. Some guys, I don't know, go to, you know, uh, some guys do some dancing to work on their feet, become, you know, right, faster on, lighter on their feet. Some guys maybe go to judo or karate, or whatever, with their hands. They got to be fast with their hands because when, when you know, because. You know, when you're backing up and the guy's coming in, and he's going to try to bull rush or something, and you're, you're trying to swat the guy, you know, wax on, wax off, right? But you want to be good with your hands, fast and good with your hands. So some guys take, you know, whatever stuff for the, you know, um, some of it is, um, you know, being a wrestler is huge, right? It's, it's your know, angles and leverage and everything. That's huge. You know, so a lot of it, obviously, obviously has to do with the guys, you know, but a lot of it also is coaching. A lot of it's coaching. So, I, I don't know Bob, what Bobby Johnson was teaching these guys. I have no idea. No idea. It, oh, my God. It's just straight up trash. Straight up freaking trash. So, let's go to Evan Neal here. Let's look at his pass blocking grade here. His pass blocking. Okay. So, this is 2023. All right. Because this season, he hasn't had any snaps, right? But I mean, you, you look, this is the last season, this, at least his second season, right? He graded out a 39.8. I mean, which is just horrible. Absolutely horrible. I mean, he had a couple of nice games in there, you know, against uh, Buffalo 57 overall, you know, 55 against the, the Raiders, you know, which is, which is borderline acceptable. You want it to be at least a 60. 50 is kind of like, uh, hmm. In the field. You want to, you want to be, a, yeah, I would say at least a sixty, according to PFF. Seems like at least a sixty is, you know, five seven. But you know, he had some, you know, some some. I said, I mean, look here against Dallas, his run blocking, twenty one run blocking snaps, seventy eight. Okay, his overall run block was a fifty one point one, but his his pass block is a thirty eight point five. This was last year. Then we go, then we go to his rookie season. 2022, and, you know, wasn't much better here. But he played all season, 41.8 overall, 42.3, 48.1. Uh, yeah, I mean, look at this pass block, a 19, a 20, 27. His run block, a 29, a 34, 39, 39. His, his overall grades, game grade, 36, 28, 35. For, you know, just horrible, absolutely horrible. You know, so I said, you know, um, a lot has to do with, um, you know, obviously, as I said, you know, obviously the player. What does the player do to get um, to, to better themselves? Because there's a lot of things you can do, right? But a lot of it also has to do with coaching. So, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna see you know we're gonna see um, as I said Dave will still hasn't made up his mind 
Um, you know, he, he, even if he, uh, even if he did, which he actually, he might, he might, he might know what's going to go on. He's not letting anybody know. He, he, he's not, he won't, he won't say anything till this weekend. Yeah. He, he, he won't, he won't let the cat out of the bag until this weekend. And he does the same thing with the injuries and all that stuff. And I think so, um, even if he does know, he, we won't, we won't find out until, until Saturday. So, um, or might, might be a game time decision. Who knows, but he he might know. But it'd be interesting to see actually what does wind up happening, right? Um, you know, do we keep the four the same and we just slide a Zudu in there where Thomas was at? And it may be, you know, as I said, you know, Zudu's a little, especially on pass blocking, you, maybe you, 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 keep a, you keep a back in, right? And slide them over that way or, or whoever goes out that way, chips on the end, you know, to help a Zudu out. You know, um, the one thing you do know is that, you know, you know, is that at least if Neil goes in there or Bazudu's in there, they haven't played at all, basically. Right? So they're fresh. At least they're not banged up. Okay. But it's um, going to be interesting to say. Um, it seems like, if anything, it seems like just from listening to people talking, like there's a good chance that they might wind up just putting um, – uh, a Zudu in there. And um, keeping everybody the same, putting a Zudu in their left tackle and seeing what happens. Uh, if, we're, if, if it just winds up being an absolute, like a total nightmare, <laughs> you know, uh, then they might want to maybe thinking about, you know, putting a Luminor over there because he has played left tackle and maybe trying to, try to put Neil in there at right tackle him. Seeing what happens there, but we'll have to wait and see. All right, guys, been one hour and five minutes. Whoever spent any time listening to me live, thank you, thank you, thank you. But if anybody's going to spend any time watching the replay, this once again, thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. It means the world to me. Thank you, thank you, thank you. As always, you guys stay safe out there and go Giants! Woo!